Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. You can see we have the iPhone in front of us and today we talk about the Books app. If you don't have the Books app, download it on your iPhone. You probably have deleted that since it's an official Apple app. You can always get it for free from the App Store again. So if you look up just Books, you can see Books app is right here and you can just download it. It's called the Apple Books, no problem there. So if you, the question for today is of course, how you can download the books on iPhone? And there are multiple ways how you can do that. The first one is simply by opening up the app like this. Just come back to the main section and the app is basically split into multiple different categories. So you have the reading now, you have the library, you have the bookstore, audiobooks and a search. And in case you want to get some new books, all you have to do is to click on the bookstore. It's right here and you can see it's basically like an app store or like a store where you can download books and not apps. So there are like the sections which are the new books, trending, all the stuff. You have top charts for paid books. You have charts for free books. So it's up to you to decide what you want to get. You can always just go to the free section and download anything that you can see here for free. So definitely very nice. You can download literally free books and read them. So that's definitely really good. And that's how you can basically download books on your device. Now, if you don't have any official books or you, you have some other files in a PDF format, let's say you have some kind of PDF text or whatever, and you consider that to be a book, although it's technically not a book, let's say you have your own PDFs saved somewhere in the files, you can also add them to the books app. So if you just open up any PDF, you can always just click on it, the share and click on a books tap on books and it's going to add it here to the books app so if it's a pdf you can always just add it there as well so that's very useful guys i want you to use your devices the best possible way and that's why i created this free education platform where you can find as of right now there's the video editing course all apps explain where you can find full guides for many different apps we're constantly adding more to the list it's free to access link is down below now also you can use the other formats which are available inside of the books app because as you know apple books basically is able to read only a few only a handful of formats one includes pdf and the basic format for um, virtual books for ebooks is called epub and this is a format that can be used so if you for example let me explain that if you open up the app and go to the store and if you download any book right here it's going to be downloaded to the app using or it's going to be in the epub format so in case you have your own books which you have purchased before the epub format you should also be able to find them within the files app somewhere and also add them and open them up within the books app so the same stuff stuff you open it up click share and add it through books but that's not the only option of course because you can also use other devices for example i like to use my mac computer and there i can also just look up the books app right here i can fire up the books and let's say that i have some pdfs or epub formats on my device i can simply just drag it over to the books and because everything is synced through icloud these are going to show up on my iphone as well of course uh, that comes out of the fact that I'm connected with the same Apple ID and the sync is turned on. So yeah, that, that's how it works. That's how you can get books and download books on your iPhone. I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you in the future video and tutorial. Thanks a lot. Peace out.